If you are a gun enthusiast, unless you've been living under a rock, you have heard of the newly released Glock 43X and the 48. We're going to look at those from a business side today instead of the practicality, functionality, etc. Those will be coming. I've got a series of those videos coming here in a couple of weeks. I've got a 43X and a 48 coming for T&E. But today is about the business side. Any business starts doing business to make money. Now there may be triggers that set that whole process into motion, but you have to make money. It's no different than you going to work every day and wanting to get paid for your work. Before I started a mixed martial arts promotion back in 2007, I almost said eight, it's been seven, wow, it's been that long ago, 2007, my wife and I sat down and said, there is a need for a good quality mixed martial arts promotion in our area. The other ones were terrible. They just say we're a travesty and, and uh, just awful to the sport. And so we knew there was a need, but we had to ask, can we make money doing this? We went for it and it was successful. When I started my gym, Poe Performance, the trigger was I'm tired of seeing kids underperform in their sport on the field and the court. And I'm also tired of seeing the injuries from athletes that were unnecessary. And so those were the triggers that pushed me forward until I said, but in a town of 14,000 people, can I specialize in the athlete prep and make money? We went forward and we made money in that as well. There has to be a return on your investment and there has to be a bottom line that's above water. A holster maker, a gun maker, vehicles. I mean, let's look at, let's look at Ford. They sell more trucks than they do any other vehicle. So why don't they just make trucks? Why don't they just make one truck and say, one size fits all? Such as uh, the Glock 19 for somebody. That's the only thing you need. That's all you need. You don't need anything else without considering the business side, without considering the legislative side, magazine restrictions, uh, different countries to export to. The business side, guys, the business side. Holster makers, you guys, you guys know Harrison Jones, Harry's holsters. I guarantee you Harry doesn't sell holsters out of the goodness of his heart without making money. That would be stupid and he's smarter than that. And by the way, he does make exceptional holsters, they are second to none. So I'm sure he saw a niche, he saw an opportunity to say, hey, I can do this better than the other guys. But Harry's not going to do this unless he makes money. It just wouldn't make sense. So from that business perspective, the bottom line has to be there. There has to be money being made. Glock's going to sell a truckload, truckloads of the 43X and the 48. Tons of them. Think about this, guys. You might go, it doesn't fit. That's a stupid design. It doesn't make sense. What if, think about this. How would you feel if you were a United States military veteran and an IED blew up and you lost an arm and you're down to drawing and shooting with one hand? The 43, the P365 doesn't fit you very well. It doesn't fit your hand. The 19, the SIG 320, the bigger guns just don't fit you as well as maybe the 43X will fit you for that one hand presentation and breaking the shot. Stop being selfish. Are you a 105 pound arthritic grandmother that the 43X is gonna fit perfectly? Are you someone who doesn't need the extra weight of 15 rounds versus 10? A slimline 48 is going to conceal a little better than a, than a 19. The market research showed Glock there is a need for these pistols, and there is a need. They will fit somebody, might not be you. Now in closing, guys, two things. Number one, obviously business has to make money. Don't forget that. It has to make sense. Number two, in the description down below, I have a link to the careers portion of several gun sites, gun makers, uh, such as Glock and SIG, HK, etc. So for all of you guys who are obviously bored and are expert gun designers, check out those links down below. 
I encourage you to put your skills to work and uh, start designing guns for these companies. Obviously, you know more than they do.